Now I don't want to bore you too much with the polo's history. If you stay in India, well it's very likely that you love the polo. But which one should you buy in 2024? There are a whole bunch of options. 1.2 GT TSI, GT TDIs, and if you're really fruity, well you can get the GTI. But in my opinion, this over here is the sweet spot of the polo. This is a Polo 1 liter TSI manual Highline Plus. And let me tell you why this is the polo that you should be buying in 2024. Now before we head forward in the video I want to give a quick shout out to TDH Classifieds. This particular vehicle is on sale on TDH Classifieds. If you're not interested in this and you want to go a little bit more sportier, we have a stage 2 version of this particular car available on the website. So if you're interested in buying a car like this, head over to the drivershub.com/tdhclassifieds to get yourself the enthusiast car of your dreams. Talking about the looks of the Polo. Well, this is a 2021 car so it gets the type 3 style of bumpers all around so you get a diffuser kind of design at the back and you get the GTI style bumper up in front and this is all bone stock from the factory. This particular car has been fitted with the GT style spoiler also on the back and well we all know the customization options that the Polo gets. Loads of body kit options, loads of wheel options and yeah I mean you can make this thing look really really nice with just a very basic set of cosmetic mods. This particular car is completely bone stock, nothing has ever been done to it and yeah a very clean example of what is probably the best Polo that has ever been sold in India. Why is it the best? Well I think so we need to open the hood of this car. In order to get in line with the BS6 emission norms, Volkswagen scrapped the 1.2 TSI and brought in the 1 liter TSI instead. Now a lot of people well had their own doubts about the 1 liter TSI mainly because they scrapped one cylinder and removed 200 cc of displacement from the engine, but the 1 liter TSI is much superior to the outgoing 1.2 in each and every way possible. Dual overhead cams, stronger internals, much more tunability. Yeah, maybe it's not the better sounding engine out of the two nor is it the smoother engine out of the two but apart from that it is superior in every aspect the 1 liter tsi is found in the up gti in europe and that is a proper little hot hatch over there and the tuning capabilities of the 1 liter tsi are pretty pretty solid especially if you look into europe even in india cars have done 14 second quarter miles or some ridiculous stuff like that makhi <laughs> So yeah, the 1 liter TSI is really capable and with some basic mods like a stage 2 tune, if you're looking for a stage 2 car, check out TDH Classifieds. This thing can make upwards of 140 horsepower and yeah, the 1 liter TSI is much better to tune than the 1.2. But the real party trick of this particular car, well, it's inside the cable. The real reason why this particular Polo is so special is well because of these three pedals over here and this wiggly thing in the middle. The 1 liter TSI Polo is the first ever Polo to come to India which has a turbo petrol engine mated to a manual gearbox. Even the 1.2 TSI was mated to a 7 speed DQ200 DSG. Well, we all know the story of the DQ200, not the most reliable and The 1 liter TSI came with two different gearbox options, a 6-speed manual and a 6-speed automatic torque converter gearbox. And the torque converter well, it's very subpar. The one to have is the 6-speed manual for sure. Now the 6-speed manual in and of itself is not the slickest of gearbox. It's a little rubbery, it's a little notchy, but it is a heap of fun to drive, especially once you put some suspension mods on it, upgrade the brakes and have a little exhaust. This thing is an epic canyon cover. and apart from that talking about the interior well it's your standard polo it hasn't changed uh, in india at least for over 10 years and it is the same more or less since it got launched in india and when it got discontinued roughly 2 years ago you get a lovely flat bottom steering a very basic looking analog instrument cluster up in front but you do get an upgraded infotainment system after 2020 if you get the highline models uh, which is the RCD 340 which has apple carplay android auto which is very neat and handy but yeah apart from that 
pretty basic on the inside. The rear seat uh, space is pretty much non-existent, just like any other Polo that has come to India. And the seats are made out of cloth and are very nice, in my opinion. And you do get some really lovely OEM seat covers for this car. Overall, this is a very functional interior. It has everything that you need, but nothing that you want. Now, most people who stay in Europe or something, if someone from Europe is watching the video, they probably, you guys are very confused as to why we're raving so much about an EcoBox engine inside a Polo that is outdated. Well, for us Indians, this car has been something of a generational icon. And this particular iteration of the Polo with the Type 3 bumper kit, and the 1 litre TSI engine with the 6 speed manual is something that we have been waiting for for a very, very long time. You see, in India, the Polo never really got the perfect combination of engine and gearbox, and this is as close to it as possible. We got the GTI in India with the 1.8 TSI, but we never got the manual transmission in it. Although Speed Sport Delhi has converted one into manual, from factory we never got it. The 1 litre TSI though came with the BS6 emission norms and with that came the 6 speed manual and it was the first time ever in India that you could get a petrol turbocharged Polo with a 6 speed manual or a manual in general which is a very big deal. That means that this thing can be your daily driver as well as be an epic weekend machine. And especially for someone who is probably just getting into college or got their first job and has a couple of lakhs to spend on their first car, the Polo 1 litre TSI manual is a very, very good car in that sense. In under 10 lakh rupees, you're getting a car which is less than 5 years old, has a pretty punchy engine in the form of the 1 litre TSI, and you get a 6 speed manual. Now, I've driven the 6-speed torque converter automatic quite a lot. I have it in my daily driver or my dad's daily driver, the Kushak. And yeah, that gearbox is not my favorite. But this 6-speed manual, although it might not be the most slickest of manual gearboxes out there, it is very fun to drive and it is very engaging to row through the gears whenever you're driving it. Now, a lot of people do complain about the 1 litre TSI being a 3-cylinder and not being as smooth as the outgoing 1.2 TSI. But I think so, we've spoken about the pros and cons of the 1.2 versus 1 litre TSI very thoroughly on social media. So, I don't think I have to reiterate about that again. But yeah, this engine and gearbox combo is the sweet spot for the Polo in India. A punchy turbocharged engine with a engaging six-speed manual, three pedals, and you are having a car which is a whole bunch of fun. Now, we do have a stage two one-liter TSI with us at TDH Classified's Verified section, and we are going to be making a video on that car very, very soon, and that car is just so much fun to drive. And the fact that a one-liter TSI six-speed has that much potential in it is what should make you go out and buy one. Because this thing, in under 10 lakh rupees, you can have a properly built, tuned car and have a whole bunch of fun, which can also be your daily driver. I don't think it gets much better than that. If you're buying a Polo, let me tell you some things to look out for. Well, this particular car, the 1 litre TSI with the manual gearbox, doesn't really have anything that is a major a letdown or a major drawback or something that is a mechanical problem. These cars are pretty solid and are very reliable. Uh, if you know the 1.2 TSI, the gearbox was a mess. The DS used to fail, mechatronics used to fail, but nothing of that sort with the 1 litre TSI manual. It's a very reliable car, the engine has no mechanical problems, the gearboxes are pretty solid. Stuff to look out for, well, it's mainly just wear and tear stuff, probably brake pads. Uh, the suspension on these cars go pretty easily uh, and the steering rack also can cause some slight problems but these are problems which happen over time and well there's nothing much that you can do about it overall a very reliable car nothing much to worry about the one liter tsi polo is one of our favorite polos that has ever come to india and if you're looking to buy one in 2024 we highly suggest that you pick one of these bad boys up 
So check out TDH Classifies if you want to buy your next Polo 1 liter TSI. We have a whole bunch of them spread across all over India on sale. So definitely check them out and we have some really cool Diwali and Navratri offers which are going to be happening on the website. So do check that out and I'll catch you in the next one.